ಸಾಧುತಂಸಾಗನಾರಘುನಾಥಾಮೃತಂಸೇವ ಸಾಧ್ವೇತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪ್ರಜನಾ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪದ ಸಾಗನಾಥ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾಮೃತ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೇಷ್ಟೇ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಧಾನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾಮೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಚಾರ್ಮೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಪಾಂಚಾಕರ್ಪತಿ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧು ಪತಿ ನಾಮ ಪಾವನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮಹಾವದ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮನೆ ಗೌತು ಸೇ ನಮ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರ್ನಾಥ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಂಧು ಗತಪತಿ ಗೋಪಸ ಗೋಪಿ ಗಂಜ ರಾಧ ಗಂಜ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಪ್ತ ಕಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ಶ್ರೀರಾ ದೇವಿಂದ ಅವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ಸುಭಾನಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನೀಲಚಂದ್ರ ಮಾಸ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಬಲಭದ್ರ ಸುಭದ್ರ ಅಭ್ಯಾಂ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಚೈ ನಮಃ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ್ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವ ಸದ ಗೌರ್ ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ we had completed 31 as per the remember yes prabhu ji 31 31 okay so before i start i have a request to devotees that uh, you can ask questions but uh, please don't uh, spend time in asking questions which are not related to bhagavad gita so that we can save our last day for patan prayojan patan prayojan also has very important elements so that we can cover otherwise we won't have time to cover the patan prayojan uh, so because i was supposed to do all these exercises through uh, group works but because of lack of time we couldn't do group works so we'll cover all the pathan prayojan in our last class on friday but if uh, questions not related to bhagavad gita whatever we are studying they are there or devotees are giving a lot of comments then we will not have time to cover all these things so this is my kind request to all the devotees we will start with 32 so you find in 31 arjuna becomes very fearful and then he requests lord to know about lord's identity and then lord starts speaking shri bhagavan vacha kalo asmi lok chay krit pravriddo lokan samahartum ie pravritta ಋತೆ ಅಪಿ ಭವಿಷ್ಯಂತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರತ್ಯನೀಕೇಶು ಯೋಧ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೇಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ ಆಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಪಾಂಡವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸೈಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಲೈನ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ so this was this is one of the famous words in the world which was quoted by open air after he saw the destructive effect of atom bomb 
for nuclear bomb. So when he saw the destructive effect of nuclear bomb, he spoke this particular verse. That Lord is a time who is destroyer of everything. And everybody in the whole world will be destroyed, will be slain. So Prabhupada has quoted a verse from Katopanisar. Yes, Brahmacha Chatramcha, Obe Bhavat, Odana, Mitter Yeso, Pase Chanam, Ka Itha Ved Yatresa. So somebody can read the meaning just below that. Eventually, all the Brahmanas, eventually, all the Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, and everyone else are devoured like a meal by the Supreme. This form of the Supreme Lord is all devouring giant, and here Krishna presents himself in that form of all devouring time. Yeah. So, Krishna is saying that I am that all devouring time, and except you, Pandavas, both the people and both the armies would be slain. So nobody be, would be remaining alive. So if you remember in the last class, there was a lot of discussion regarding uh, pessimism and optimism, all these things. And different devotees were speaking different things. But we have to see things from the eyes of Krishna. We may be having our own experiences, which we have gathered over years in the life, in this life. But Krishna is the oldest person and his experience is the greatest. So although we may be having a lot of experiences, but if you want to advance in Krishna consciousness, we have to see from the eyes of scriptures. So if we are not pessimistic about this world, we will never like to leave this world. We like to just live in this world. That is why we find Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam they are filled with pessimistic view about this world. Because if we are not pessimistic about this world, we will never like to go to other world. Our acharas also explain the same thing. Janaka janani snete buliya sansar lagilo bhalo. This is what Bhakti Nur Thakur says. That our child is suffering like anything in the womb of the mother, but as soon as he comes out, he gets the loving embrace of mother and father and sansar lagilo bhalo he says this world is very good place and that is how one is caught up in maya so there are enough pleasures in this world to keep us intact with the miseries of this world so that is the work of maya so there are enough pleasures in this world to keep us attached to the miseries of this world so if somebody is having that experience then that is uh, obvious. But that is how Maya puts illusory energy upon all of us. Now, so you feel, oh, I'm very happy in this world. But we have to understand what is Dukkha from the eyes of scriptures. So after I complete this unit in 13th chapter itself, Krishna says, Janma Mrityu Dara Vyadi Dukkha Dosanu Darsanam. So this is an item of mode of goodness. So those who are trained in knowledge, they see birth, old age, disease, death as causes of misery. So if somebody says, I am not miserable, then we have to understand his definition of misery. So his definition of misery may be, okay, I can adjust with the things. But that is not Krishna's definition of misery. So when we come to Krishna consciousness, we have to understand the Krishna's definition of misery. Krishna's definition of misery is if you are having birth, old age, disease, death, if you are suffering with Adhyatmik, Adi, Bhautik, Adi, Devi, Klesa, that means you are in misery. So if somebody says, no, I am having Adhyatmik, Adi, Bhautik, Adi, Devi, Klesa, still I am happy. I was born. I am having disease. I am growing old. I'm having death, any of these things, and I'm happy. That means his, uh, he has his own definition of misery. So Krishna's definition of misery is somebody suffering with birth, old age, disease, death, or adhatmik, adhivati, adhidevi, klesa. That means that person is miserable. And like one of our devotees, he went in a college program, and he told that this world is a place of misery. So one 
boy raised his hand and said that but i am not miserable and he was wearing a heavy specs on his eyes so saying if you are not miserable why you are wearing these spectacles so you are wearing those spectacles to save yourself from misery so the illusory effect of maya is that we are count trying to counteract misery all the time by sitting in ac because there is very high temperature in middle east and then we say no we are not miserable we are uh, comfortable i am happy so that is not krishna definition so krishna definition is somebody suffering from birth old age disease death adhyatmik adi bhavik adi dev klesha that means he is miserable so if we don't have pessimistic view about this world we will never like to leave this world and we will never like to become the resident of the spiritual world so we need to have optimistic view about the spiritual world and pessimistic view about this world uh, so that is very important this is one of the reasons why propa in his last days he was not hearing gopi leela or krishna leela with the gopis he was hearing third kind of shrimad bhagavatam which talks about misery in the womb of the mother and how person becomes further entangled in this world so then devotees are wondering propad you are in your final days and you are hearing about third canto so propad spoke a very remarkable thing he said in this world there is always a tendency to become comfortable with the miseries so that's why it's very necessary to remind ourselves of the miseries of this world otherwise what will happen is we we'll again try to come to this world thinking that it is not a miserable place so both the things are spoken in scripture scriptures also give solution what is solution tamso ma jyotir gamaya so don't remain in darkness go to light asato ma sat gamaya this world is temporary place leave this place go to the eternal place mrityur ma amrit gamaya leave the mrityu which krishna is talking in this verse and go to a place which is place of amrit or eternity so scriptures don't just talk about misery of this world they also give the solution of taking to spiritual life going back home back to god head and thus being eternally happy so that's different from the pessimistic view of this world so we, we are pessimistic of this world and optimistic about the spiritual world so that's why it's very necessary so that is why we may be having our own experiences in this world but the experiences of acharyas krishna and great sages like narad muni etc which is given in shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita they are much more beneficial and important because in kadyuga we may be living for 70 80 or maximum 100 years that is our experience but krishna is the oldest person and when he is speaking his experience that has much more value than our own experience okay so so the krishna is speaking that in my meal i devour brahmanas and kshatriyas so that is kal roop of the lord which we find in the upper court so he devours everyone in this world so we have to remember that although we may be in comfortable place but this is temporary so because it's temporary let us go to eternal place so that's very important for us to understand prupat quotes a famous verse from uh, chanak pandit so he says tej durjan sansarjam vaj sadhu samagam kit punya mahoratram smar nitya anityatam this is very famous as well as propa has quoted at many places in the purport as well as in his lectures to tyaj durjan sansarjam leave the association of non devotees because we associate with non devotees we get contaminated either by reading their materialistic books or by personally hearing from them so then we feel oh why do take so much misery of chanting hare krishna now we can be comfortable without chanting hare krishna 
So tell the Durdhan Sansarjadam, Bhaja Sadhu Samagamam. And we should take as soon as devotees more and more. Kirta Punna Mahoratram. And we should continue doing the work which is beneficial for us. That is the spiritual practices. And Smara Nitya Anitritam. And we should always remember this world is not a permanent place, it is a temporary place. So that is why this Kala Rupa which Krishna is showing here is extremely important for the devotees. We have to remember that this world is a, not a permanent place and we should not try to be just comfortable in this place. Otherwise, we sometimes may spend our whole time in just accumulating the gadgets which make us comfortable in this world. For example, when we go to a uh, hotel room, where we are going to stay for two, three days. Do we complain there that, oh, here the paint is not good, let us have a good painting here. Bed is not nice, you know, let us have a good court here. Let us get purchase a new court here. AC is not working properly. Immediately get a good AC. Do we do all these things when we go to a hotel room? Why we don't do that in a hotel room? Somebody will answer. All temporary. Yeah, so we know it is temporary place. Let us tolerate for some time. So similarly, this world is also a temporary place. So certainly we may have to do things enough to be fit to practice Krishna consciousness. But we should not spend too much of time just to counteract the miseries of this world. So certain things which we can tolerate, let us tolerate. And spend more time in practicing Krishna consciousness. And also, if we remember all this, this world is temporary and this is miserable. Dukhalyam asasvatam, both are things Krishna says. So, if we remember this misery in terms of what Krishna is speaking, then we will have enthusiasm to practice Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, once one devotee came to our temple and he was speaking to the temple president. So, we are telling, uh, first I will tell in Hindi, it is little. Uh, in Hindi, then I'll translate it in English. So we are telling that Prabhuji, Sablo Kate, Sola Mala Karnami, it means the Katoti, money hamadata, ye problem, have a problem. Hamoku is the Katini Oti. I'm TV Kolte, beat back my heart dalte, Sola Mala Kawaya de Patanijalta. So what he was saying is that Prabhu, devotees are so much misery, saying, no, 16 now chanting is so difficult, this, that. I have no misery because I put on television. And how 16 rounds are over, I don't come to know. So that is being comfortable in illusion. If you are so much comfortable in illusion, we will never be thinking about becoming more intense in Krishna consciousness. It's like a child who is comfortable just playing and doesn't study. Fine, he may be happy now, but in long term he won't be happy. So similarly, we can't be happy and satisfied while doing compromise with our spiritual practices. Uh, rather, we should never be satisfied with the quality of spiritual practices. If we are satisfied, we will never think of advancing more and becoming more intense. So that is why scriptures do talk about pessimistic view about this world so that we become more intense in accepting Krishna consciousness. So we should not be thinking bad about that, why scriptures are telling all these things. And what Krishna is speaking, we have to understand it can't be wrong. It cannot be wrong. He is saying, Dukhale me, it is Dukhale. We can't say Krishna is wrong. Just because we are experienced, then no, it is not bad. Similarly, Krishna is saying it is temporary. We can't say it is not temporary. because it is temporary. So Krishna can't be wrong. So now we'll go to 33. So this will make our episode meaningful now. That is the reason I gave whole background. So when Krishna is saying I'm Kala Roop, it's a serious thing. It's not like something okay, you know, casual. So 33 now. So Krishna then speaks the Action which Arjuna is supposed to take 
by understanding that everything is temporary in this world and through kala all the people in both the sides will be destroyed so this 33 tasma tam uttishta yaso labhasya jitva satrun bhungch bhungchas rajyam samriddham mayi vaite niheta purvam eva nimitta matram bhavasava sachin please read therefore get up prepare to fight and win glory conquer your enemies and enjoy a flourishing kingdom they are already put to death by my arrangement and you o o savayasasi can be put on an instrument in the fight hari krishna so there are two points of application in which krishna speaks here so one is to assist krishna in his mission so krishna has two missions or i would say three missions rather paritrana sadhu naam to deliver the those who are in mode of goodness vinasaaja duskritam destroy those who are wicked and dharma sansthapana arthaya to establish the religion of devotion service so these are three goals so krishna is telling that's why arjuna because it's a temporary place you should change temporary into eternal by using your skills which are temporary powers which are temporary time which is temporary by assisting me in my mission of destroying the wicked people so already through time factor i have killed the wicked people as kala but if you assist me in my mission you will get the glory of advancing in krishna consciousness and so that is how arjun would get an benefit so this is one uh, point of application and after that krishna is saying because they are put to death by my arrangement don't be proud why because you are just an instrument in the fight already as kala i have killed all of them so assist in my mission and be humble so similarly for all of us also sometimes we we may do preaching and there are many people who may turn into devotees but that's not our glory it is the glory of the philosophy of krishna consciousness so scriptures are so powerful philosophy of krishna consciousness is so powerful the purports of our acharyas are so powerful and the process of krishna consciousness is so powerful that anybody who speaks it or spreads it becomes glorious because other people become attracted to these things so these things are naturally attractive so then we should not be very proud of thinking that i have done all these things so it is for whose benefit it is for our benefit it is not for the benefit of society it's not the benefit of the spiritual master it is for our own benefit only uh, that's a nimitta matram bhavasavasa just become instrument in the fight just become instrument in the hands of the spiritual master and who will you benefit will you benefit bhakti sidhan saraswati he speaks a past time regarding that not past time a short story there once once one uh, very wealthy person was there and his son would fail very regularly in mathematics so he employed a teacher and he would pay him very very high salary for teaching mathematics so then the student uh, would sit down and this uh, teacher would give him problems to solve so then he would tell you only solve this problem student would say the child would say so teacher said no no you do this problem and if you feel some difficulty then i'll assist you i'll help you so then this child start complaining he said if i have to solve all the problems why is my father paying you so paying you so much you understand if i have to solve all the problems why is my father a fool that is paying you so much so he didn't understand 
that is teacher is telling him to solve the problem for his benefit not is for own benefit he already can solve all the problem it's not very difficult for him so similarly bhakti san sati say that i tell my disciples to do services they think it is for the benefit of guru maharaj so they don't understand it's not for the benefit of guru maharaj it is for my own benefit because anyway we are serving maya since so many lifetimes somehow we get an opportunity to serve krishna and so it's not for the benefit of krishna krishna has already a lot of assistants it's for our own benefit and that is why we should not be very proud so if you are instrument then we will get the benefit of advancing in krishna consciousness and so that's for our benefit not for the benefit of the spiritual master <clears throat> so we have to understand that because the process is so powerful and so many devotees are assisting that is why this preaching or any other service becomes successful so we have to recognize their contribution also uh, for example because our parents have raised us to this level we are able to practice krishna consciousness so then they deserve credit while preaching also if you see prabhupada has given purports krishna spoke bhagavad gita so many acharyas have given purports which are translated by prabhupad or combined together somebody has made the whole system of preaching that devotees who are cooking as a cook either in the center or in our uh, for husband and wife is cooking so because of assistance of so many people we are able to preach or we are able to do any service so when all the efforts are made together then we can do any service or do any preaching but if we try to steal all the credit then we will be in illusion so it's not that only one person is getting the credit so many other people deserve the credit so once i went to one bhakti riksha where uh, almost four five devotees claimed that this is bhakti riksha opened by me so then i found that all these five people combined together and opened it so but the power of illusory energy is such that we think that only because of me things have happened so that is the illusion so that's why it's very necessary to become a nimitta matram become a instrument now 34 द्रोणा च भीष्म च जयाद्रत च कर्ण तथा न्यान अीरान मया हतामस्तिष्ठा युद्ध से चेता शिणे सपत्ना प्लीज रीड द्रोण भीष्मा जयद्रत कर्ण एंड अदर ग्रेट वॉरियर्स हैव ऑलरेडी बीन डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय मी देर फोर किल देम एंड डू नॉट बी डिस्टर्ब सिंपली फाइट and you will vanquish your enemies in battle uh, so krishna is saying as a kal roopa in the future anyway drona bhishma will be killed so don't think that if you don't fight in the war they will go back like that they are not going to go back so as kal already i have destroyed them so if you kill them you will get the glory and don't think that you have killed them because i have killed them because why krishna was going as a shanti dhut this comes in a mahabharat so then all the pandava said that no actually krishna we don't have to have such a war because so many people will die you just ask for five villages so even bhima was very mild by that time all the bhima generally very angry and aggressive so krishna as a shanti root agreed to go and he started going but at that time draupadi stopped krishna draupadi said the mandir krishna if they agree for five villages what will happen for the troubles which we underwent and i was practically disrobed in the open assembly 
So Krishna said, don't worry, they will never agree for five villages because I will not allow them to get agreed. And if Pandavas don't fight in the war, I'll come with my Sangh Chakra Gada Padma and kill all the Kauravas. So whatever troubles you went through, they will never go in vain. They will not, never go waste. So it is Krishna who wanted a war and it is Krishna who wanted to destroy all the people who are the part of that Asat Sabhaya, where the Draupadi were destroyed. So that's why Krishna is requesting Arjuna that just be an instrument. Because anyway they are going to die, they won't be saved. So after hearing that, Sanjay speaks. Okay, Deveswari Mataji had a question. Deveswari Mataji. Thank you, Shri Prabhuji. Um, uh, Prabhu, this word, uh, Savya Sachi, does it have any philosophical aspect? I just wanted to know. Okay. So, philosophical aspect. So, Prabhupada has not given and our Acharyas have not given. So, uh, Savya Sachi refers to one who can say, shoot arrows very expertly in the field. So Krishna is encouraging him. So if you see in purport only first line, it is there. Sarva Sachin refers to one who can shoot arrows very expertly in the field. So he would be, actually he knows how to feel, uh, shoot arrows from both the hands. Right hand also, left hand also. So he's very expert. So that's why Krishna was encouraging him that you are already very expert person. So I'm not giving you a service which is very difficult for you. So you're only a very expert and already I have killed all of them. So just fight and win glory. So that is how it is connected. Thank you. So now we'll go to verse number 35. Sanjay Vacha Eta Shrutva Vachanam Kesa Vasya Pritanjali Vipamana Kiriti Namaskritva Bhuya Eva Hakrishnam Sagad Gadam Bhita Bhita Panamya. Please read. Sanjay Kesa Dhrashta, O King, after hearing these words from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the trembling Arjuna offered obeisances with folded hands again and again. He fearfully spoke to Lord Krishna in a flattering voice as follows. Hare Krishna. We find that Arjuna starts speaking, starts trembling. And then uh, he starts speaking in a faltering voice to Krishna. So then in 36 he speaks. Arjuna Vacha Istane Rishi Kese Tava Prakirtiya Jagat Prahatyas Prasyati Anurajate Cha Raksham Sibhitani Disodravanti Sarve Namasyandija Siddh Sangha. Please read. Arjuna said, O Master of Senses, the world becomes joyful upon hearing your name, and thus everyone becomes attached to you. Although the perfected beings offer you their respect, respect, respectful homage, the demons are afraid and they flee here and there. All this is rightly done. So he said that, my dear Lord, although you may be looking very fearsome in the form of time, but everything is happening on its own place, thane. So everything is suitably happening. How it is suitably happening? You as a Rishikes, because Thane Rishikesa, so you as a Rishikes, inspire the senses of your devotees to turn towards you. So that is happening nicely. And also, those who are non-devotees, they are running away from you. So as Rishikes, you are doing both the things. The universe becomes joyful. Praharasyati. So Krishna Arjuna is using the word Praharasyati. So this world is becoming joyful with Sangeet and glorifying you. Uh, so Prakirtaya. So it is because they are becoming glorifying you and thus they are becoming attracted to you. So this is reasonably done. So devotees, what they are happening, happening to them? They are happy, becoming joyful 
they are becoming chanting uh, holy names and doing sankirtan and as a result they are becoming attracted to you so that is what is happening for the devotees so this is rightly done and for uh, rakshasas asuras danavas pesachas and other rakshamsi rakshasas what is happening desa dravanti diso dravanti is written here rakshamsi bhitane diso dravanti they are running here and there in fear so that is also rightly happening hmm. why because they are unfavorably inclined to you so that is why when rakshasas are running here and there that's not something wrong because they are unfavorably inclined so whole group of those who are perfected by devotion to you siddh sangha sarve namas sandhi cha siddh sangha these are the devotees people who are perfected in devotion to you they are offering their respects to you so they don't see faults that you know why as time factor you are giving creating fear for those who are not your devotees because they are perfected beings they know everything rightly so our acharya say that this is verse is also called mantra shastra but it helps person to get rid of the rakshasas so you'll find them nursing their mantras are also there similarly this is mantra to krishna for getting rid of the evil forces okay so in this way so krishna treatment of devotees and atis are praised by arjuna rupa dharat sindha purport so in all cases devotee glorifies the lord because he knows that whatever he does is good for all so that is the definition of god god means good there can't be anything wrong otherwise he is not god so sometimes people have a doubt why krishna is cause the mahabharat war why so many people were killed why did he steal the butter why did he do this why did you do that so that means you are not understanding that god is good god cannot do anything wrong now question may be i am not able to understand how to understand uh, so that is a devotee's understanding so he doesn't say god is bad or how god is good or bad he knows god is good but i don't understand that how god is good then let me understand so that is how one approach is a devotee so that the right attitude okay anupru had a question hi keshav bhai ji thank you so uh, just now you said that uh, rishikesh will inspire the senses of the pure devotee to serve to, to serve the lord and in the contrary to that it's also that, that you inspire the senses of the non devotees to turn away from you mm-hmm. so how we need to understand like because uh, we are saying that desires and our consciousness to enjoy uh, we are engaging our senses in uh, to enjoy but here the lord is saying you, i mean uh, you inspire the senses of the non devotees how we can understand okay so lord inspires the senses of the non devotees to turn away from him because of their desire to turn away from them now so uh, there was a as kal roop only okay it is connected kal roop so i can speak here this particular example so you remember already i gave an example of prupat speaking about internal and external energy so when prupat is directly giving a class and we are hearing that is called internal energy because we can see direct connection with prupat but prupat says that my recordings are my separate energy because they are they are uh distanced through time time factor has kept a distance so when time factor keeps a distance then it is possible that 1000 years from now people can always have a doubt they say hey, So they are saying it is proper recording we don't know whether there was some pashandi like propat we don't know whether it is his recordings only 
maybe somebody recorded decently and they kept and they are saying it is from prabhupad so time factor allows a person to forget the personality who has done the things so similarly when mahavishnu glances at this world this world becomes functional then rest of the things automatically happen because of his energies paras saktir vivadev sujate this allows people to become atheist and not see his hand because living entities who come in this world want to forget lord lord makes arrangements to forget them so in this way he inspires their senses to turn away from him is it clear no proof it's uh, it's jiva desires and the lord fulfills that's it. yes okay thank you now 37 kasmate na nameran mahatman gari yase brahmano api adi kartre ananta devesh jagan nivasa tamaksharam sat asatat param yat please read oh great one greater than uh, greater even than brahma you are the original creator why then should they not offer their respectful obeisances unto you who oh, limit less one god of gods refuge of the universe you are the invincible source the cause of all causes transcendental to this material manifestation hari krishna so he says why we should not offer obeisances to you certainly we should offer respect to you for you are aksharam aksharam is brahman and you are above both the cause and effects of this world so what can be done is that uh, anyway you can go through the purport it's good purport please read the purport by the offering of obeisances arjuna indicate that krishna is worshipable by everyone he is all pervading and he is the soul of every soul arjuna is addressing krishna as mahatma which means that he is the most magnanimous of all unlimited arjuna indicate that there is nothing which is not covered by the influence of influence and energy of the supreme lord and devas means that he is the controller of all demigods and is above above the mal he is the center of the whole universe center of the whole universe arjuna also thought that it was fitting that all the perfect living entities and powerful demigods offered offer their respective obeisances unto him because no one is greater than him arjuna especially mentioned that krishna is greater than brahma because brahma is created by him brahma is born out of the lotus of lotus stem grown from the navel about abdomen of the garbhodak shay vishnu who is krishna primary expansion therefore brahma and lord shiva who is born of brahma and all other demigods must offer their respectful obeisances it is stated in shrimad bhagavatam that the lord respected by the lord shiva and brahma and similar other demigods the way action is very significant because the material creation is subject to destruction but the lord is above the material creation he is the cause of all causes and being so he is superior to all conditioned souls within this material nature as well as the material cosmic manifestation itself he is therefore all the great supreme hari krishna the previous verse 37 says and how lord is superior to or worshipable by all the people and 38 verse speaks how he is refused for even those things which are spiritual not just material so he is refused for everyone both material and spiritual 
uh, so ultimate center for everyone whether material or spiritual so 38 tama adi deva purusha purana stvamasya viswasya param nidhanam vetasi vedyam cha param cha dhama tvaya tatam visv visvam ananta rupa please read you are the original personality of godhead the oldest the ultimate sanctuary of this ma- manifested cosmic world you are the knower of everything and you are all that is knowable you are the supreme refuge above the material modes oh limit- limitless form this whole cosmic manifestation is pervaded by you so ananta rupa he is pervaded everywhere as parmatma and by the means of his energies so nidhana means his place of merging at the time of destruction everything merges in the body of mahavishnu param dhama and your transcendental form is beyond the gunas so that means even everything is spiritual just takes shelter of you now so prupad writes in the purport let me see he writes out nidhana nidhana means that everything even brahman effulgent resonant supreme personality of godhead krishna so it is not just material things even the spiritual things also take shelter of krishna only and no one else so that is why krishna is a versatile personality both by the people who are bound in this world and by the people who are liberated also demigods are versatile personality for the people who are bound not by the people who are liberated because demigods don't exist in the spiritual world but krishna because he sold the spiritual world also so he is versatile by both the people who are bound as well as liberated it's like a chief minister is versatile personality in a state but not outside a state because he has no power there but prime minister is versatile personality both in the state and in the outside that state also in the whole country so similarly demigods may be versatile in this world because of their different positions but krishna is versatile personality both in this material world as well as in the spiritual world because he is source of both the things so that is how krishna is the greatest versatile personality so we may worship many people we respect our parents also we respect our people who are qualified than us in more than us in any way na rather a devotee is supposed to supposed to respect everyone all the living entities but still we discriminate and understand that krishna is the supreme versatile personality so that is how there is a great essence uh, one of the verses <coughs> which bhakti no tagore says is देहो नाथ यथा यथा तबे तो गाई वो हरि नाम सुखे अपराध हवे हता दैट को रित सम्मान सो ही सेस माय लॉर्ड प्लीज गिव मी पावर टू रिस्पेक्ट एवरीवन अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर डिफरेंट लेवल्स ओनली दैट आई देन आई विल गेट द पावर ऑफ चैंटिंग द होली नेम्स ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो वी हैव टू रिस्पेक्ट एवरीवन बट देयर इज वे ऑफ रिस्पेक्टिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पीपल like we respect a lion from a distance we don't pay obeisance to the lion we don't say vancha kalpa dru vasta so we respect him from a distance but we may respect our parents by touching their feet we may respect other devotees by paying obeisance to them at the same time we respect krishna by offering our life and soul to krishna we respect spiritual master by giving our life and soul to spiritual master so that is how that different gradations in which we give respect although we respect everyone so krishna among all the people whether they are liberated or they are bound is the greatest versatile personality in the world so that is what uh, arjuna is speaking here Okay. Now thirty nine. 
वायोर्यमो अग्निर्वरुणा ससांका प्रजापति स्तम प्रभिपिता महस्ता नमो नमस्ते अस्तु सहस्र कित्वा पुनस्त भूयो अपि नमो नमस्ते प्लीज रीड you are air and you are the supreme controller you are fire you are water and you are the moon you are brahma the first living creature and you are the great grandfather i therefore offer my respectful obeisances unto you a thousand times and again and yet again. so krishna is present through his energies everywhere so that is how when a devotee respects everyone or somebody who is exhibiting the vibhuti of krishna so similarly even when we serve other devotees we serve the spiritual master so we serve other devotees because they are devotees of krishna we serve the spiritual master because he is a representative of krishna we serve other people because they are part and parcel of krishna so that connection with krishna is extremely important if we don't see connection with krishna then even in devotion service now you all of all of you may not be having that experience but it sometimes happens with the devotees who are like uh, full time devotees in the temple that if their connection is not felt then sometimes they become little frustrated also that i am serving a my in charge and sometimes people serve for 8 years 10 years and then certain times certain things happen where in charge may speak something harshly or behave harshly then they would say oh i served you so much and what you have done to me so they feel very broken hearted but the perspective is that this particular person is giving us krishna service because he is giving us krishna service and we are getting opportunity to serve krishna whether that person reciprocate doesn't reciprocate us with us positively or negatively we should be happy because he is giving us krishna service So, if Krishna factor is removed from the vision, then what happens is, then we feel I am serving a person, and we don't see connection with Krishna. Then we start expecting from the people. So that is why connection with Krishna is extremely important when we deal with anyone in this world. So that is how Arjuna is seeing that this Vayu, Yama, Agni, Varun. they all are uh, your expenses only so that doesn't mean that arjuna say that agni is only krishna vayu is only krishna or varun is only krishna no they are representative of krishna as demigods and that's why krishna arjuna is saying i am seeing you everywhere in these forms so i am offering my respect to you so he is respecting the demigods but seeing them in connection with krishna so that's like very important thing and then again he father speaks nama purastad at prashtas prashtaste namo stute te sarvatte ve sarva ananta viryamit vikramam stvam sarvam samapno sitato asi sarva please read obeisance to you obeisance to you from the friend from behind and from all sides o unbounded power you are the master of limitless might you are all pervading and thus you are everything hari krishna so what krishna is arjuna is saying is <clears throat> i am he is offering office and from all the sides why is offering obeisance from all the side because lord is there in all the sides he is all pervading so sarvam samapnosi you pervade the whole universe na it's like gold pervades earring bracelet gold mine and all the jewelries of the world 
which are made up of gold so similarly because everything is made up of krishna's energies only krishna is all pervading everywhere uh, so this is an analogy by which we can understand and then uh, 41 42 सकेति मत्वा प्रसवाम यदुत्तम हे कृष्ण हे यादव हे सकेति अजानता महिमान तवेदम मया प्रमादा प्रणय नापी विहार सैया सन भोजनेशु एक अच्युत तत्समक्षम तत्मे ताम हम प्रमेय प्लीज रीड thinking of you as a friend as my friend i have rashly addressed you o krishna o yadava o my friend not knowing your glories please forgive whatever i may have done in madness or in love i have dishonored you many times just justing as we relaxed lay on the same bed or sat or ate together sometimes alone and sometimes in front of many friends o infallible one please excuse me for all those offenses so i'm going to start regretting now so my dear lord you have so much power and i have committed so much offense towards you so hey krishna you are well known as the son of vasudev who is not famous who was a human being a mediocre fighter seated on the same chariot as another fighter artharathi so vasudev was artharathi and uh, i thought no so i arjuna well no and i am known as the son of pandu who was atirathi na so ho oh, yadav i address you as yadav because you don't have king's position because vasudev was simply a minister he was not a king na so i address you simply as a member of yadu dynasty and i have king seb of puru dynasty the chandra vansha raja puru so that is how i have offended you so many times oh friend he sakha my friendship with you is not because of the greatness of your forefathers not because of the reputation of your family but is simply based on familiarity so i have beg pardon for these rough words pr- prasabham i have sp- spoken for intending the above meanings so what he says is that because of your uh, our friendship i casually you have addressed you as yadav that you can never become a king or things like that because till now my love for you was not because of your greatness it was because of your sweetness because of your friendship so i had friendship with you because of your sweetness hmm. so i have taken leisurely and sometimes joked with you sometimes scolded with you you with a sarcastic words ha uh, that uh, you are truthful innocent gullible i beg forgiveness for all these offenses na because i offered i gave offended you in front of others other friends or alone in all these ways so please forgive me so what has basically happened is because arjuna is in sakras with krishna so he was not just respecting krishna or having relationship with krishna because of greatness but also because of sweetness but now because that yog maya curtain is removed and he is seeing greatness of krishna so he is lamenting that i should have friendship with you and i should have respected you for your greatness not just because of sweetness so that is how arjuna is uh, arjuna's disturbance is visible here so certainly arjuna in friends there is no offense so arjuna never offended but he is feeling he has offended it's like na yasoda would have of course as yasoda is different yasoda 
after seeing virat roop also after seeing the universal form in the mouth she couldn't believe that krishna is supreme but let us in case of deviki or vasudev so they may sometimes discipline krishna thinking that he is my own son but if they see the greatness of the lord then they may later on lament that no we offended you because we scolded you you are such a great personality now we sometimes punished you although you are such a great personality so that is not considered an offense because uh, that is done out of love uh, so it's not an offense similar thing happens with vasudev and devi actually it happens it is given in the simad bhagavatam 10th canto yeah so this happens for arjuna also now we'll go to 43 pitasi lokasya chara charasya tamasya pujasya cha guru ragariyan na tvat samo asti abhyadika kato anyo lok tare api apratima prabhava please read you are the father of this complete cosmic manifest nadushuti you can read Thank you. You are the father of this complete cosmic manifestation of the moving and the non-moving. You are its worshipable chief, the supreme spiritual master. No one is equal to you, nor can anyone be one with you. How then could there be anyone greater than you within the three worlds, O Lord of immeasurable power? So. रूपात कोट दिस वर्स न तस्म कर्णम चाहते न तत्समस्ते पराश सकते श्रूयते स्वभाव की ज्ञान बल क्रिया चो बोटिंग दिस वर्स रूपाटेल्स न चाहते न तत्समस्ते नो बट इज इक्वल टू कृष्ण और अधिकस ग्रेटर देन कृष्ण सो दट इज हाउ krishna is a uh, supreme so which is which, that is what uh, arjuna is emphasizing here so in this way so already we have covered all other aspects so we will go to the next verse tasmat pranam pridhaya kayam prasadye tam aham isam adhidya idyam पुत्र फेमिलिटी please tolerate the wrongs i have may, i may have done you hari krishna so please tolerate whatever offenses i have done because you are so great and i am so insignificant it's like sometimes child may kick the mother while he is in the womb of his mother but mother doesn't take it very seriously so similarly arjuna says that you are the supreme mother supreme lord so what our offenses i made please tolerate them so that's why he said pranidhaya pranidhaya means i am offering you obeisances like a rod dandavat basically we say dandavat danda danda means rod so offering obeisances like a rod adrasht purvam hesito asmi drishtva bhayen cha prathvittitam mano me yad eva me darsa deva roopam प्रसिद्ध देव देवे से जगन निवासा प्लीज रीड आफ्टर सीइंग दिस यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म व्हिच आई हैव नेवर सीन बिफोर आई एम ग्लैडन बट एट द सेम टाइम माय माइंड इज डिस्टर्ब्ड विद फियर देयरफॉर प्लीज बेस्ट ऑफ योर ग्रेस अगेन सॉरी गेस बेस्ट ऑफ योर ग्रेस अपॉन मी एंड रिवील अगेन योर फॉर्म एज द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड ओ लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड्स Who abode of the universe? Hare Krishna. So, although I am delighted, 
to see your body composed of all the universes and so many things which I saw before. But my mind is feared because of the ferocity of these forms. So I'm happy that you have shown that how you are all pervading and all these things. That is giving me a delight. But still these forms are very ferocious. So that is giving me fear. So that is how Arjuna is having a mixed emotions here. Emotions of delight as well as emotions of fear. So that's why what you do, my Lord? Tad eva rupa. So I want to see your human-like form. The form as you appear as the son of Vasudev, which is millions of times dearer to me because of its sweetness than your current form. So current form is very glorious. But as you appeared as the son of Vasudev in the jail of Kancha, that is much more sweet. Ah. So I have now seen you as the Lord of Devatas, Devas, the resting place of the universe, Jagan Nevasa. Ah. So that is how I have seen, but now I want to see that other form. So it has to be understood that Arjuna did not see the body of Krishna in the human form, which is the origin of all the forms. So Krishna displayed a different form, the universal form. So, uh, this is 45. Now, 46. Kiriti nam gadinam chakra hastam ikchami tam drishtum aham tateva te neva rupena chatur bojena sahasra paho bhava vishra murte. Please read. Oh, oh universal form. Form. thousand arm lord, I wish to see you in your four arm, uh, four arm form. With the uh, helmeted head and with club, wheel, conch, and lotus flower in your hand. I long to see you in that form. Hare Krishna. So, Arjuna said that you have thousands of arms, Sahasra Baho. But I don't want to see Sahasra Baho. I want to see four Baho. I want to see 400 form. So you have shown your form in which you showed your power. But now I want to see your form, which is the highest rasa, which gives joy to the mind of people and eyes of people, which we saw before as the son of Vasudev. But when Krishna appeared as the son of Vasudev, he appeared in four hands, carrying Sang Chakra Gada Padma. So do not show your majestic form, which is distasteful to mind and eye, as revealed in your universal form, although it was never seen before. So I desire to see that form with a crown of valuable jewels, which we saw previously sometimes, and which your parents saw at the time of your birth. A form of the universe, now having thousands of hands, withdraw that universal form and appear in your four, form, four hands. So Arjuna had a purpose also to show this four-handed form. He wanted to show how Krishna is source of this forehand form also, not just universal form. So Arjuna wanted to show that how Krishna is source of four hundred forms of the Lord also. So that is the reason Arjuna is requesting Krishna to show this four hundred form. So although it is like a more like a drama. But Arjuna is playing this drama to convince the people that Krishna is source of whole universe and is source of Narayana also. Now, so he is very intelligently playing the role and declaring to the world that how Krishna is the supreme person of God. So now Krishna answers Arjuna's prayer. Sri Bhagavan Vacha. Maya prasanne ne tavarju nedam rupam param darsitam atma yoga tejo mayam visvam ananta madam yanme to the ne nadris to purva purvam. Please read. Oh, best of Guru warriors, no one before you has ever seen this universal form of mind, for neither by studying the Vedas 
nor by performing sacrifices nor by charity mata ji yes. mata ji a verse before that a verse before that 47 sorry Ah, you can read forty-seven. You can read. Yes, yes, please. The supreme personality of Godhead said, "My dear Arjuna, happily have I shown you by my internal potency this supreme universal form within the material world. No one before you has ever seen this primal form, unlimited and full of glaring effulgence." Hare Krishna. Okay. So, my dear Arjuna. The form which I showed is by my internal potency, so it is not by external potency. So it's unlimited and full of abundance. So basically, what Krishna means to say is, my dear Arjuna, you have said that you desired to see this majestic form, and by your request, I have shown this form. So it's not that I just showed this form to make you fearful. i have shown the form of the universe which is one of my parts what has your mind being disturbed on seeing so it is not astonishing that you plead with me wanting to now see my human like form see you only told me to show this form i saw this form now you are telling no no i don't want to see this form i want to see other form so isn't it astonishing so being pleased with you i have seen this form to you alone not to anyone else since it cannot be seen by anyone in spite of that why do you desire to see any other form the pleasing form so in this way krishna basically uh question sarjuna so kanchan varan mata ji hari krishna prabhu ji hari bol am i audible prabhu ji hari krishna ha, audible yes uh, prabhu ji yes mata ji in the quote uh, shila prabhu pada in 46 verse uh, he stated prabhu ji that lord krishna had two arms and why he is designed as four arm is explained by shri dara swami both bhima and draupadi mm -hmm. held opposite views about killing ashwatthama bhima wanted him to be immediately killed whereas draupadi wanted to save him in order to prevent both of them the lord discovered another two arms uh, prabhu ji can you explain uh, please explain this past tense prabhu ji means what uh, why it is said that krishna got that okay. four okay so krishna generally has two arms form only like coward boy and even as uh, vasudev in dwaraka or in ma he displays his two forms hands on them but whenever required krishna displays two more form two more hands so what happened is the during the episode of asatama so i think it is about asatama remember the reference ha ah, this is 47 right uh, 46 prabhu ji Forty-six. Ah, uh, forty-six. Which line? It's in the court book. Shila Prabhu Padre. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that is why I am not able to see in the purport. Okay. <laughs> so there, uh, Krishna is uh, Prabhu Padre is quoting the reference of Ashwatthama being punished. So as far as I understand. So Ashwatthama, when he was being punished, then Bhima was telling kill him, Draupadi was telling leave him. So that time Krishna had to stop both the pull, and that is how he got four hands. And there, there are other places also where Krishna showed his four arms. Other place was where Rukmini fainted. So when Rukmini fainted, uh, Rukmini was doing chama to Krishna, and Krishna was glorifying. She tells he tells her that no, Arey, why did you take a foolish decision of marrying me? You are so beautiful, and I am just a cowherd boy. I am not even a king. Also, so people were like, Sisu Pal were qualified and more than me. You should have married them. Ah, I am a detached fellow, surrounded by detached people, all babajis. 
so i am very detached all my worshipers are very detached so why did you marry me you should have married some person who is attached to family life and he could have taken care of you nicely so all the warriors during your marriage party they were so attached to you and sipalu was like practically like a you no know, pet dog for you he would have done whatever you wanted and then you left sipal and you married a detached person like me so why did you do all these things so you are thinking that when he teases rukmani like this rukmani would become angry because satyabhama generally becomes angry at everything and rukmani never becomes angry so krishna was trying to provoke anger within rukmani but rukmani felt very really, uh, fearful and ashamed upon hearing all these things she was thinking are krishna is speaking all these things he may leave me and out of that fear rukmini faints ah. so then what happens is then krishna had to bring out his four arms to prevent rukmini from falling down so there is another episode where it happens like that so what prabhupada is quoting from sri swami that krishna has capability of showing four arms but in general he has two arms okay are you Ravinder Pru has a question. Yeah, Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Ganvat Pranam. Prabhu Ji, here it is mentioned that um, Krishna did not show uni- uh, universal form before, but uh, to his mother also he showed in the um, uh, when he was uh, when he opened his mouth he showed the universal form. Is it different form or uh, how should we understand this? Prabhu? So is it different because? Yasoda was showing the universes within the mouth of Krishna. So now we may give it a nomenclature of universal form, putting them in the same category, but that was pretty different from what was shown to Arjuna. Similarly, the form which he showed to Duryodhan was totally different. He was in Krishna river person, so he couldn't bind Krishna. So that is how all these three forms, all the same, are different. So sometimes we categorize them as universal form. you can categorize them it's a matter of nomenclature how we categorize the things but it's different which uh krishna so to arjuna it's different okay but all are all three are universal form only correct we can consider like that but they are different yeah we can categorize them as universal form see we have to understand one thing is there are phenomena and then there is a way of giving no nomenclature like you will find kanishta adhikari madhyam adhikari uttam adhikari is differently given by different acharyas chatan mahapur is a different definition which he has which is given in chatan chatan amrit rup goswami has given different definition and sanatan goswami jeev goswami have given different definition so how we categorize things or give a nomenclature may be different so certain acharyas they sometimes say that all three are universal form although all three forms are different okay okay hari bol ya yeah, anupru uh hari krishna prabhu ji in this uh, same universal form uh, as we discussed in earlier uh, personal discussion like uh, uh, those who are eligible they could able to see from different lokas this universal form uh, but uh, how the krishna is saying like i have shown this form to you alone not anyone else so again krishna said that arjuna you can see whatever you want to see so what did devta see devta see the form in which they were praying to lord for protection other people may be looking in other way so krishna fulfilled his desire by showing this universal form see actually speaking now let us go a little deeper in philosophy a little perspective different perspective even this world is different for each one of us five different people may enter in the same temple hall and may see the same temple hall in different ways 
a person who is a electricity board in charge of the place if he enters the temple hall immediately starts estimating how many bulbs are there how many tube lights are there how much electrical consumption these people may be doing he'll see in a different way if an animal enters inside let us a dog enters inside he will start seeing things in terms of what is edible what is not edible third person who is let us say intelligence bureau person he will start seeing oh how many people are there from which nationality are they having some criminal record or not so he may see the temple hall in different way some architect come he will see oh such nicely carved deities are there there are such nice sculptures in the temple but when a devotee enters inside he sees my krishna standing here let me pay him obeisances so that is how each one of us have a different perspective to the world also so similarly in this universal form also if you see that krishna says arjuna that my dear arjuna you see you can see whatever you want to see and whatever has happened in the past present and future that is the beginning of the universal form so that is how we reconcile krishna's verses that uh, krishna's words and acharya's words how we reconcile them is that all of their other people who saw, saw the universal form but they saw what they wanted to see okay anupru yeah okay boy thank you so we have done till 47 if i remember we are to do 48 48 now na yes sir ji फॉर्म for neither by studying studying the vedas nor by performing sacrifices nor by charity nor by the pious activities nor by the server uh, penances can i uh, can i be seen in this form in this material world hari krishna what i am going to do is now i am going to uh, stop my video so that internet connectivity is maintained so i will not be visible now but i'll be speaking okay <clears throat> so in 48 uh krishna says so this form which i have shown to you is rarely seen in by those who study the vedas and follow the processes so i cannot be seen this form cannot be seen by anyone except you sakka ham so he says sakka ham yeah or sako ham that because you are my friend i have shown oh, sorry it cannot be seen by anyone else sako ham sakka ham so that's why you have attained something which is not attainable by others so please fix your mind on this form which is very difficult to be seen by anyone else 
so that's why you should forget that human form human form which you desire to see so keep on seeing this form don't see that don't desire to see human like form and then further krishna pacifies arjuna in text number 49 माते व्यथा माचा विमूढ़ भावो दृष्ट रूपम घोरम इदिन ममेदम इवपेत भी प्रीत मना पुनस्तम तद एव मे रूपम इदम प्रपस्य प्लीज रीड यू हैव बीन परटर्ब्ड एंड बिविल्डर्ड बाय सीइंग दिस हॉरिबल फीचर ऑफ माइन नाउ लेट इट बी फिनिश्ड माय डिवोटी बी फ्री अगेन फ्रॉम ऑल डिस्टरबेंसेस with a peaceful mind you can now see the form you desire so then arjuna in beginning in the between so this is something spoken by our acharya he says that my dear lord why don't you understand me You are forcibly giving me something which I don't want. Seeing this form of yours, my limbs are becoming distressed, my mind is pained, and I am constantly fainting. So let me offer my respects to you again and again in that majestic form, but please keep that majestic form far away from me. I don't want to see this form again. I will never again pray you to you to see this form. So I have done one mistake. One time I told you so. Now I don't speak again. So please forgive me. Show me that human-like form, which moon-like, which showers nectar, and which gives sweetest smiles. So please give me that. Show me that form. I don't want to see your Virat Rupa anymore. So that is how. Arjuna regrets that I told you to show this form. So he said, "I don't want to see this form again." And then, uh, what happens? Sanjay is speaking. Sanjay vacha itte Arjuna vasu devas tathoktvo tathoktva swakam rupam darsya mas bhuya aswasya mas cha bhite menam. भूत्वा पुनः सोम वपुर महात्मा प्लीज रीड संजय सेड टू दत्तराष्ट्र द सुप्रीम पर्सन गॉड हेड कृष्ण हैविंग स्पोकन दस टू अर्जुन डिस्प्लेड हिज रियल फोर आर्म फॉर्म एंड एट लीस्ट एट लास्ट शोड हिज टू आर्म फॉर्म दस एनकरेजिंग द फियरफुल अर्जुन So now you can read purport. Purport is very powerful and instructive. Please read. When Krishna appeared as the son of Vasudeva and Devaki, he first of all appeared as a four-handed Narayana. But when he was requested by his parents, he transferred himself into an ordinary child in appearance. Similarly, Krishna knew that Arjuna was not interested in seeing a four-handed form. But since Arjuna asked to asked to see this four-handed form. Krishna also showed him this form again and then showed himself in his two-handed form. The word Saumya Vapuhu is very significant. Significant Saumya Vapuhu is very beautiful form. It is known as the most beautiful form. When he was present, everyone was attracted simply by Krishna's form. And because Krishna is the director of the universe, he just banished the fear of Arjuna, his devotee, and showed him again. His beautiful form of Krishna in the Brahma Samhita is stated, "Premanjana Chritta Bhakti Vilochana." One only a person whose eyes are smeared with the ointment of love can see the beautiful form of Sri Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, <laughs> so Krishna Arjuna first showed saw this four hundred form of Krishna. So that gave him some solace, because four hundred form of Krishna is filled with grandeur and sweetness, both greatness of Krishna and sweetness of Krishna. And then he showed his two hundred form, 
wearing bracelets earrings turban yellow cloth pitambari that is considered som rupa the 200 of krishna that totally comforted the fearful jana so that's what was explaining that krishna's form is most beautiful and most attractive as compared to other forms so that's why all of their krishna sword is universal form krishna sword is four form four hand form but then 200 form is called som vapur uh, so that is considered the most beautiful among all other forms of krishna so now 51 अर्जुन उवाच जश्वेद मनुषं रूप तव सौम्यम जनादन इदानीमस्मी संवृत्ता सचेता प्रगति ग्लीज रीड When Arjuna thus saw Krishna in his original form he said O Janardana seeing this human like form so very beautiful I am now composed in mind and I am restored to my original nature Hare Krishna जनार्दनिस so it be absolutely clear there is the same krishna who showed his 400 form and universal form so he is not an ordinary person he is supreme person of god so by this time arjuna's goal was totally fulfilled and how the same 200 form is not ordinary it is same form of 400 narayan and universal form so krishna in this way arjuna in this way establishes krishna as supreme personality of god and then krishna says sri bhagavan vacha sudur dur darsham idam roopam drishtvan asi yan mama deva api asya roopasya nityam darshan kamshina please read The supreme personality of God had said, "My dear Arjuna, this form of mine you are now seeing is very difficult to behold. Even the demigods are ever seeking the opportunity to see this form, which is so dear." Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So the Lord glorifies in three verses His Vishrupa. Earlier He glorified, which He showed. so these devatas desire to see visrupa but cannot see it uh, but our krishna channel arjuna said my dear arjuna you don't desire to see the visrupa at all uh, so how can your two eyes which continually taste the great sweetness of my human form enjoy that universal form so it is not that by fierce forms you become perturbed but your two eyes trained in seeing my sweetness so when they are trained in seeing my sweetness how can they see my greatness therefore i have given you divya eyes to see divya and dadami te chakshu i gave you these two eyes but though i gave this heavenly eyes for transcendent eyes i didn't give you divya mind or transcendental mind so by as you saw that form but your mind couldn't realize that form because your mind is trained only in realizing my sweetness and now uh, you can realize my sweetness all together so that is how Krishna, he reveals the truth now. Uh, 
uh, that how his sweetness is better than his greatness also it's a ha- one step above his greatness so certainly we can't realize krishna's sweetness unless until we understand his greatness but still his greatness is considered much more superior to his sweetness also sorry sweetness is considered much more superior to his greatness also somebody can read the second paragraph of the purport it is in, in bhagavad gita uh, in bhagavad gita 9.11 it is also confirmed avajanati mam mudha manusham tanum ashritam he is not visible to the foolish persons who deride him krishna's body as confirmed by brahma samhita and confirmed by krishna himself sorry sorry about that krishna himself in bhagavad gita is completely spiritual and full of bliss and eternality his body is never like a material body but for some who make a study of krishna by reading bhagavad gita or similar vedic scriptures krishna is a problem for one using a material process krishna is considered to be a great historical personality and very learned philosopher but he is an ordinary man and even though he was so powerful he had to accept a material body ultimately they think that the absolute truth is impersonal therefore they think therefore they think that from his impersonal feature he assumed a personal feature attached to material nature this is a materialistic calculation of the supreme lord another calculation is speculative those who are in search of knowledge are also speculate on krishna and consider him to be less important as the universal form of the supreme there are some think that the universal form of the supreme sorry there are some think that the universal form of krishna which is which was manifested to arjuna is more important than his personal form according to them the personal form of the supreme is something imaginary they believe that in the ultimate in the ultimate issue the is in the ultimate issue the absolute truth is not a person but the transcendental process is described in bhagavad gita chapter 4 to hear about krishna from authorities that is the actual vedic process and those who are actually in the vedic line hear about krishna from the authority and by repeated hearing about him krishna becomes dear as we have several uh, times discussed krishna is covered by his yog maya potency he is not to be seen or revealed to anyone and everyone only by one to whom he reveals himself can be seen can he be seen this is confirmed in the vedic literature for one who is surrendered soul the absolute truth can actually be understood the transcendentalist by continuous krishna consciousness and by devotional service to krishna can have his spiritual eyes opened and can see krishna by revelation such a revelation is not possible even for the demigods therefore it is difficult even for the demigods to understand krishna and the advanced the and, and the advanced demigods are always in hope of seeing krishna in his two handed form conclusion is that although to see the universal form of krishna is very very difficult and not possible for anyone and everyone it is still more difficult to understand his personal form as shyam sundara thank you hari krishna so the main point which propad is speaking is that this form of lord as shyam sundar can be understood with much more difficulty so although the universal form of the lord is much more rare so it is not seen but and shyam sundar form may be more available than the universal form but despite that understanding shyam sundar form is much more rare than understanding the universal form so although universal form of the lord is more rare understanding of shyam sundar is much more rare than the universal form also so that shows that how the shyam sundar form of the lord is much superior to even universal form so that is what topa is establishing here so already okay so three hands are up
anyway so 53 54 55 will take in the next class because uh, that needs some discussion also so they are very important verses now so the verses which we are taking is like uh, one important verses so they need some discussion okay sipru had a question sipru mamta mata ji uh, yes prabhu ji hari krishna <laughs> So in one of the verses, I think 47 or 48, uh, Lord Krishna himself says, "Please uh, fix your mind and focus on the four-handed form." Was it four-handed form or two-handed form, Prabhu? So initially, Krishna showed a four-handed form, mm -hmm. and then he showed two-handed form. So the word Swami Rupa used depicts that two-handed form. So first he showed four-handed form with Sang Chakra Gada Padma, and mm -hmm. then he showed it. Is two hundred form. So, so, so he, is he asking us to fix on the four hundred form or on the Shyam Sundar two hundred form? So, Krishna is asking Arjuna to fix his mind on two hundred form. So, initially he said that you see four hundred form. See there is sequence. What is sequence? First, Krishna showed is Virat yes, Rupa. Sir. Sorry, this Vishnu Rupa, which is majestic. It is majestic. It is greatness, showing greatness. Then he showed his four-handed form, which is mixed with sweetness and greatness. How greatness? Because four hands are not generally available for the living entities, humans right. like us. Right. So they show greatness also, but at the same time they are very sweet also. Lord is very beautiful. So it is both sweet and great. And then he showed it his two-handed form, which is only sweet. So his greatness is generally not. Exactly visible by seeing his 200 form, and that is why people confuse Krishna. Where is only sweet form? So that degree of change, only great, great and sweet, and then only sweet. Okay, Prabhu ji, Hare Krishna. Hare. Prabhu ji, uh, can we also say that uh, we don't know much about a 200 form, and we, uh, as we always glorify, and we see a lot of people praying the four um, many uh, thousand hands mm -hmm. and many thousand faces. We know a lot about that than uh, the two hundred form. Is that is that like we we know the greatness, but not much about the sweetness, and not many people glorify the sweetness. How is this, Prabhuji? Yeah, we can say like that because Prupad, like he writes in the purport, that Lord's especially sweetness. It's true with the greatness also, but even the sweetness of the Lord, especially, it is revealed. It is a revealed knowledge. See, through logic, to some degree, we can understand greatness of Lord. <clears throat> For example, we create tube light, but we can't create sunlight. It's very clear. So, by logic, we can understand God is great. We can. Breathe out and create some carbon dioxide while breathing out, but we can't create universes by breathing out. So we understand God is great. We can create a swimming pool, but we can't create an ocean. We understand God is great. So through logic, to some degree, we can understand greatness of Lord, but sweetness of the Lord has to be revealed. Unless until somebody reveals us the truth about the past sweet passions of Krishna. we can't understand that so that is how this particular knowledge is much more rare than just the greatness of the lord so it is the revealed knowledge it is not just a knowledge which we gather through our own logic does it answer your question mata ji yes prabhu ji yes understood prabhu ji thank you very much okay. hari krishna hari uh yadavar pro and hari priya mata ji ऑलरेडी So if we see the last lines of fifty-two, the conclusion is that you can see in fifty-two purport last lines, last few lines. 
the conclusion is that although to see universal form of krishna is very very difficult and not possible for anyone and everyone it is more still more difficult to understand his personal form as samsundar that means form of a uh, universal form is much more rare to be seen than the samsundar form proper accepts but to understand samsundar form is much more difficult than virat rupa so actually seeing means seeing and understanding so that is actually seeing if we see something and don't understand then that is not considered seeing so seeing means seeing and understanding so although universal form is more rare to be seen samsundar form is much more rare to be understood so that is how the samsundar form is much more rare to the universal form could you understand or you can further ask questions um, not fully prabhuji still i am okay uh i'll give one simple example which is more easily available to be seen or to be observed a banana or an atom banana yeah means in terms of number i am asking in terms of number which is more easily visible to us an atom or a banana in terms of number okay uh, it will be atom atoms well, even when you are looking at your spectacles while you are looking at other things you are looking at atoms then banana banana may be much more difficult but now come into the what you told before which is more easily seen in terms of understanding an atom or a banana hmm banana okay you understood now yeah okay okay so in this way universal form is rare to be seen like that banana but samsundar form is more difficult to be understood so in that way it is more difficult to be seen than the universal form is it clear now yes sir thank you very much hello rakesh pru and priyanka mata ji hari krishna pranam swami ji prabhu ji in verse number 11.38 in the purport uh, shrila prabhu pad say he is the object of knowledge because he is all pervading so can you please explain this relation be- between all pervading ex- aspect of the lord and object of knowledge okay so object of knowledge means what is to be understood so what is to be understood so there is knowledge and there is object of knowledge for example when i am learning let us say surgery okay you can tell what uh, uh, what you are uh, you are a housewife or uh, you do some job or what what do what do you do housewife housewife now what is object of knowledge for a housewife for a krishna conscious uh, being a krishna conscious grihastha it is krishna only ha as a but i am asking not uh, as a krishna conscious grihastha but for a housewife what is the object of her knowledge or what knowledge is required for becoming a housewife Uh, basically taking care of the family members in the house yeah so that is the object of our knowledge our kids things of the house cooking husband relatives so these are the object of knowledge for a housewife so similarly what propad saying is here is that object of knowledge for all of us is that all pervasive aspect of krishna is parmatma so there are only two spiritual things in this world 
हु आर दे आत्मा एंड परमात्मा सो आत्मा एंड परमात्मा आर कंसिडर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ नॉलेज बिकॉज वेन यू से स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज नॉलेज अबाउट स्पिरिट सो दैट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ नॉलेज अकॉर्डिंग टू वेदिक स्क्रिप्चर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज स्पिरिट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मैटर सो दैट टू स्पिरिचुअल स्पार्स इन दिस वर्ल्ड और टू स्पिरिचुअल पर्सनैलिटीज द सोल एंड द सुपर सोल सो दैट इज हाउ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ नॉलेज अकॉर्डिंग टू स्क्रिप्चर बिकॉज वॉट स्क्रिप्चर कॉलेज नॉलेज इज सुपर सोल हु इज ऑल पर वेडिंग ओके ओके नाउ ममता माधी यू कैन आस्क ओनली क्वेश्चन ममता माधी से प्रो व्हाई यू हैव टू राइट डाउन टू मी नो प्रभु जी इट्स नॉट अ क्वेश्चन रादर इट्स आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ द सेम क्वेश्चन सो वी आर एबल टू परसीव द यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म थ्रू आवर मटेरियल आईज एज इट इज मोर और लेस मटेरियल इन नेचर and uh, to understand the 200 uh, two uh, handed form which is a spiritual in nature we need to elevate to that particular level and only after a uh, lord reciprocates then we will be able to understand uh, the spiritual form is understanding correct can we understand in that way as well no no it's not correct because even universal form we will see krishna clearly prabhupada writes in the purport that that is also coming through internal potency of the lord so that is also made up of satchidananda so krishna gives div drishti na krishna Sorry. gives the div eyes the divine why divine. he gives div eyes so if you remember i gave two reasons one reason is the actual reason is arjuna's eyes were trained in sweetness but he wants to show greatness that's the actual reason but a reason to be learned from the episode is that krishna was trained to see material objects and krishna wanted to so arjuna sorry arjuna was also trained to see material objects and krishna wanted to so arjuna his spiritual form made of sachidananda that's why krishna gave divine eyes to arjuna so what actually what i was indicating here is understanding greatness of the lord is easier then understanding sweetness of the lord so if you remember i told three levels of knowledge first one knowledge of difference between matter and spirit correct first level second was between how supreme lord deals with the material world that is the knowledge of super soul and lord dealing with his devotees the living entities is the topmost knowledge so first two level of knowledge could be understood by material logic sorry prabhu can you please repeat the second one uh, first is matter and spirit and then second is the supreme supreme lord dealing with the matter matter okay that is the work of three vishnus work of chirodaksha vishnu garbhadaksha vishnu karnadaksha vishnu okay okay that is a level higher that's called the knowledge of parmatma parmatma aspect of the lord and the highest is the bhagwan aspect the lord dealing with the living entities in the spiritual world that is the highest one So there one, two, three. Now first and second one can be still understood by material logic. Like if you remember, I told that now, Prabhu would sometimes say, "Are you, are you this I, or yeah. it is your I?" So through logic mm-hmm. we understand. Similarly, it is your body, or it is my body, or I am body. So it is my body. I am not body. I am something different. So like that by logic we can understand the presence of soul. similarly we can understand the presence of super soul by understanding that we can make tube light tube light needs a maker so why not sunlight needs a maker making a swimming pool needs a maker why not making an ocean needs a maker even the cell is so complex atom is so complex if a complex thing in this world has to be made by someone how can cell or an atom comes so automatically so these through logical logic we can understand that this matter needs a creator that is a parmatma aspect but what krishna does with the living entities that has to be revealed through krishna and his devotees only so that's why this is the most rare knowledge so that depicts the sweetness of krishna 
So sweetness of the Lord is much more rare than the greatness of the Lord. So sim, that's why Krishna's form of Sam Sundar is much more rare than the universal form of the Lord. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ravi Teja Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Here, uh, son of Vasudev also in some purports uh, focus is there on the son of Vasudev. Sweetness uh, can we get uh, by uh, by taking means uh, by going through the lectures of son of Vasudev like the, how um, also in Bhagavatam it is a benediction uh, Supreme has born to the uh, Devaki Vasudev. Yes. So can you please explain this connection uh, sweetness? And uh, Sanna was there and this benediction. Okay. So, in Vaikuntha or in this material world in terms of Paramatma, only Lord's greatness is visible. As son of Vasudev, Lord shows both greatness and sweetness. So, Dwaraka Vasis and Mathura Vasis sometimes they're enamored by greatness of the Lord and sometimes they're enamored by sweetness of the Lord. So you find in all the prayers, all the people, like uh, we find in the case of uh, Vasudeva and Devaki themselves. So when Krishna was born to them, initially Vasudeva starts praising, that my dear Lord, no, you are Supreme Person of Godhead and you are the maker of three modes of material nature and all these things he speaks. So he was experiencing greatness of the Lord. And later on, he said, my dear Lord, but still you have four arms. If Kansa sees you in four arms, he'll understand your supreme person of Godhead and he'll kill you like all my other children. So please remove your two four arms and just uh, have two arms and become like a small baby so that I can hide you. That means now he was experiencing sweetness of the Lord as a father. So it was a mix of greatness and sweetness. But in Vrindavan, Krishna sorted four arms in front of gopis. And by seeing Radharani, two arms dissolved. So that is how Krishna is not able to keep four arms in Vrindavan. Vrindavan is only sweetness. So Vrindavan only sweetness is there. Vyakonta, greatness. And uh, this uh, Dwarka and Mathura, it is mixed. It is mixed with both greatness and sweetness. So, very good question. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Uh, Murali Vadan Gopal Pru. Murali Vadan Gopal Pru had a question. I find your. Murli Vadan Pro. Mataji, you are sitting there in that window. Murli Vadan Pro. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. He is Hare locked Krishna. in the other ID. I think he is trying to speak and we are not able to hear it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now, 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 now he is speaking, yes. Yeah, pra pra Prabhuji, I ah, yes, totally convinced to totally convinced is the, your you know, nice explanation of sweetness and greatness about Lord Krishna. I'd like to know how Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come into picture, in which category comes? So Lord Chaitanya is Radha and Krishna combined, but generally Lord Krishna, we can access or pray to him only in Dasaras. Okay. So he's, he's more, he's called, so Krishna is called Madhurra form of the Lord, and Lord Chaitanya is called Adhurra form of the Lord. Other okay. means compassion. Okay. So he is known for compassion and Krishna is known for sweetness. So similarly, Vindavan is called Madhura Dham and Mayapur is called Adhara Dham. So okay. that is how they are same but different aspects are uh, visible at different places. Okay. From the duty point of view, which is most important, Prabhupada? You have to understand which is a growth, all the three ones. Or equally, or you have to see, or something uh, graded. So generally, we approach Lord Chaitanya and through Lord Chaitanya, we approach Radha and Krishna. 
okay so that is how we don't uh, worship radha and krishna directly we worship radha and krishna through the medium of lord chaitanya because for worshiping radha and krishna one has to be at least on raghunoga platform raghunoga bhakti platform so vedi sadhana bhaktas cannot directly worship radha and krishna but if we worship lord chaitanya through dasa bhakti as a servant we get the same benefit of worshiping radha and krishna in madhur rasa so that is how lord chaitanya's mercy is very great okay thank you thanks a lot hari krishna hari bol okay so nandi mukhi mata ji she asked me a question about question number 4 oba so can you tell me the question actually because i have different grade of questions in my particular uh, book or different that is there uh, a pure devotee can live anywhere and create the atmosphere of vrindavan by his devotional service yeah, yeah. in that you can write past times of krishna prabhupad yeah rather if you write more pa- good past times it will be credible okay. so we i want to see the hear the past time or see the past time in your questions so you can write the past times Okay, Prabhu. Thank you. Okay, Hari. Okay, so it's nine six now, and maybe devotees must be also very eager to break their fast because uh, uh, we had continuous fastings for all these days. So we'll end here. Shiva Bhagavad Gita ki, Shilpa Upadhyay ki, Hari Krishna.